Xcode 14.3 has been recently released. In this version, Apple have removed the Rosetta support. So Xcode no longer can be open using Rosetta. I thought that this is a bad news and all of you who still needs to use old libs and frameworks will be in trouble. But it turns out that now we can choose a destination architecture. And this is much better. So right now in the Xcode 14.3, you no longer can run it as Rosetta. In the previous one, as you can see, the 14.1, you could just open it using Rosetta. But right now in this new one, it is unavailable, which is actually a really good thing. So inside this new Xcode 14.3, Apple has added a, a new way of actually running your simulator under Rosetta. So Xcode is no longer running under Rosetta. It is like, like normal Apple Silicon, but the simulator itself will run as Rosetta. All you have to do is go to the product, destination, destination architectures. And by default, as you can see, it is show Apple Silicon destinations. If you will select this one, show Rosetta destinations. Now you can choose a simulator to run under Rosetta. You can also choose uh, both of them. So if you are switching between the Apple Silicon and Rosetta, you can choose both of them. I have this old project that I did some time ago. I was trying to add support for the Google Maps to, uh, for the Apple Silicon. Back then it was not working, so I still have this project. If I will go and try to run this on a regular Apple Silicon simulator, as you can see, it will not build. There's this issue. It is building for iOS simulator, but linking in object file built for iOS. So now if you will switch to the simulator with the Rosetta, so let's run it. And as you can see, build succeed and the application is loading. So yeah, it builds, the simulator is running. Let's see the activity monitor. And as you can see inside the activity monitor, there is this one, the app to Google Maps ARM64, and it is the kind of Intel. You can also see this one, the Kona synthesizer and the carbon component. This is probably like the part of the simulator, but only those three elements are running under Intel. The rest is just Apple. Previously, uh, you had the, the whole Xcode was running under the Intel, so it was super slow and sluggish and barely like unusable. Right now, the only simulator is being run under Rosetta and it is much faster and much better. So actually, this is a good news after all. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Yo.